Oh, uh, uh, so it looks like some kind of weird balloon contraption or. <laughs> so I'm not a huge TikTok fan. I don't spend a lot of time on it. I am on TikTok. I post there because I guess you kind of should have a presence. So I just picked a bunch of random TikToks. I had some sent to me. They're all about wine. We're going to check them out. Oh, I'm watching them on the laptop, not the phone, because I just don't want there to be any feedback with the microphone. Let's get into it. This is called a foil cutter. You want to cut on the second lip so no wine actually comes in contact oh, with the Mack. foil. Traditionally, these foils contain lead um, and you didn't want to have any lead in your wine. Since the rules have changed, out of tradition, we still mm. cut on the second lip. So you make two cuts, that's one. Go underneath, that's two. Speaking of, I hate foil. I think it's a waste. It's it's not great for the environment. Can we all get together as wine producers, as a wine community, and agree that maybe we don't need foil capsules anymore? And then we're gonna make what we call the C-section up the side and then we twist and turn off. We're gonna open the lever, we'll pull out your helix. I always like to go off-centered and then press in. The C-section is key for opening, if you wanna look really sexy when you're using a wine key, that is key to peel off the foil. And then turn, and then we just wanna turn. You wanna turn the corkscrew, not the bottle. And then the first lever is the highest lever and you just wanna press. So now this is caught on the first lip and then you just pull up and then you go back down to the second lever, as you guys can see here and then press and then it's really almost out now and then you just take your key and just turn and twist and done. Nice. I remember when I didn't know how to use a waiter's corkscrew and I would see people do it, I thought, oh man, that's so sexy. And a lot of people are intimidated by it. There's a lot of videos out there. Learn how to do it because it looks real cool. You look so much more elegant and it's easy to carry around a corkscrew. I always have some, I always have way too many because I lose a lot at the airport. Like just now I went to Germany and they took uh, one of my favorite corkscrews. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I don't know who this is, but when I put in hashtag wine, this was one of the bigger uh, videos. Let's just take a look. Good music, good music. Play a little Sweet Dreams, yeah, second glass. <laughs> Third. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess. Um, I think this is, you know, no disrespect. I don't know who this is. This is a, a lot of people in the wine industry, wine writers, kind of don't like this new generation of social media because they see things like that and that gets a lot of likes, a lot of views, and it was funny, but did it give any value to my wine life? Not really. Sorry. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Let's take a look here. This looks like a hack. This came up. Playing some. Ooh. What, is that an old wine I think he has right there? It must be an old wine because I don't know why you would do that to just a young wine. Um, yeah, I guess <laughs> when you have really old wines in restaurants, sommeliers use those screens to get out the sediment, but I have, it didn't look like that wine was old. I have no idea why it was poured through a paper towel, I guess. Let me watch that again. Oh, I just got it. The bottleneck was broken, so he was filtering out the broken glass. Okay, okay, useful, useful tip. Good TikTok. I changed my mind. Okay, let's, I got this one sent to me. Let's take a look here. Uh, so it looks like some kind of weird balloon contraption or a corkscrew. <laughs> I thought that was really cheesy at first. I actually kind of want that. Hold on, let me, hold on, let me see that. Let me just see that again. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Smith. That's pretty cool, actually. Actually, this is one of my friends, Sam Vivant. She really blew up on TikTok just uh, just during the winter. I don't spend a lot of time on TikTok, so I haven't seen this video. It's one that's pinned in her comments. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a collab with her actually pretty soon. I know her, Amanda. Let's take a look. How to open a bottle of champagne? I'd like a bottle of your finest champagne. Fantastic. Were you thinking a house champagne or something grower? What? No, I don't want your house champagne. I want your finest. Let me rephrase. Would you like a champagne from a bigger champagne? 
champagne house or something more boutique like a grower. I don't know, whatever your finest is. Let's talk about champagne. Champagne is my favorite type of wine, but it can be really overwhelming to try to choose from the mountain of options that exist. Luckily, champagne is one of the few regions that has an incredibly strict labeling system, which means we can tell a ton about the champagne before we even open it. Here are three primary things to look for when you're trying to zero in on that perfect bottle. House versus grower. Now in the original days of champagne making, the houses and the growers were two completely separate entities, i.e. the houses that produced the champagne didn't actually grow their own grapes. Instead, they purchased it from many different growers and then blended it into their own cuvee. And this was, and very much still is, commonplace. However, many years ago, several growers decided that they didn't want to sell their grapes to big houses to be blended in. They worked really hard on growing those grapes and wanted to give the grapes their due. So they stopped. Okay, so. It's a longer tic tac, let's keep it under a minute. Uh, right now in the wine world, among sommeliers, you know, people in the know, they all think grower champagne is the big thing instead of big houses. To be honest, okay, I'm not gonna say I am the foremost expert on champagne, I'm just talking about from my palate. I prefer actually the special cuvées from big houses. What makes champagne so unique is all the reserves of old wines that blenders can use to make a real complex wine. And big houses have access to so many vintages, so many mature wines to blend in, so I don't know, that's just my preference. Funny, my sister sent me this one. I don't even know what it is, let's take a look. Okay, listen. So my grandma had has had this thing, a dragon, okay. right? It's been sitting there for a while. I thought it was just a cool ass decoration. I'm like, that was cool. She's like, do you want it? And I'm like, fuck yeah. I want this in my apartment. Like, why the fuck would I have a fucking glass dragon in my apartment? And she was like, well, I got it from Costco. It was going to be... I don't know what this has to do with wine. Which isn't until like November. Oh my god, that's early. It's been sitting there. Like, he hasn't been able to see it. Like, he knows what he's getting. And she's like, well, it's full of scotch. I'm like, oh, we're about to try it. Why did I get it open? So let's try. Let's try this dragon. Oh shit. Okay. okay. She was trying is it to wine get back to Costco because she said it was broken. But like, how is this broken? Oh wait. I see. Da, 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 da. I kind of don't want to open it just because it's so fucking cool. But it has alcohol in it. Okay, my, my sister is watching. <laughs> it wasn't about wine, it was about alcohol. Social media is so funny. Like, I think this video got a lot of views, and it's just something like, I don't understand. I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. I just don't understand. Okay, let's just move on. Also, another one trending on TikTok. Okay, woman looks like an open and bottle. Tonight, the music singing so loud. Um, I'm just speak. I don't even know. I don't even. I'm just. just I'm, let's just skip. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh, okay, let's move on here. Okay, wax toppers. Playing a little tiny dancer. I might mute this so I don't get copyright strike. He is. Wait, he's waxing. He's putting a wax top on the wine, but he dropped the whole bottle of wine in there. Uh... <laughs> Joe the winemaker. Uh, I guess it gets views. Let's take a look at another one here. What's the deal with these huge wine glasses? I wonder if I can fit an entire bottle of wine into one glass. Well, I guess that's that. Hey, that guy looks Cheers. familiar. I just, I was actually, this is towards the end of uh, the second pandemic when I was kind of stuck in Croatia. I was staying at my friend's apartment. She was gone for the summer and she had these Riedel Cabernet glasses. So I thought, hey, that might be funny to do something like that. Might be something that kind of gets views. Did pretty well on YouTube shorts, but uh, not so much on TikTok because my TikTok's not that big. But uh, those Grand Cabernet glasses, I actually love. You know, Riedel, I, I prefer Gabriel glass, some Zalto, but those Riedel Grand Cabernet glasses, I think are pretty good. Next one up is somebody I personally know, Nicole from Grape Chic. I'm actually gonna be doing a collab video with her soon, so stay tuned to that. I <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a peculiar thing, how you hold a wine glass, you know, you're supposed to hold it by the stem so your, the heat from your hand doesn't warm up the wine. But, and I think this is funny. I think this is hilarious. This is a way to get views, definitely, because you're gonna get a lot of people hating on you. But you know what? Wine's meant to be enjoyed. I know producers of fine wines that drink their wines out of uh, glass, glass cups or even ceramic jars, so okay but funny in a way to get views so let me know do you guys use tiktok for wine what do you think about it do you have any funny or just outrageous wine tiktoks i should react to let me know in the comments below thanks a lot i'll see you soon